the property of the scalar multiplication says when you have any scalar multiplying with the matrix you have to multiply it with the each element minus 2 minus of minus 2 becomes plus 2 so minus 2 plus 2 0 5 minus 6 is minus 1 so therefore the matrix b is minus 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 here we have 3 minus 4 which is minus 1 minus 1 when it goes to the left hand side it becomes plus 1 so therefore the value of y becomes plus 3. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is your Shruti ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysore. So in our last session, we have learned about the matrices and its types. And also we have learned some of the algebra related to mathematics. That is how to add or subtract two matrices and a scalar multiplication of matrices. Now in this session, we will be solving the problems related to all those algebra of matrices. Let's look at the first question. We have if A is equal to 2, 3, 1, 1, minus 2, 0 and B is equal to 1, minus 2, 4, 1, 3, 2. Find 2A minus 3B, 4A plus B, A plus 1 by 3B. So here we need to find out the scalar multiplication and we have to subtract in the form of 2A minus 3B. Here in the form of 4A plus B and here in the form of a plus 1 by 3b. So first let us find out the equation in the form of 2a minus 3b. So 2 into a minus 3b. So that means 2 times the matrix a. That is 2, 3, 1. Next we have 1 minus 2, 0. Minus 3 times of matrix b. That is 1 minus 2, 4 and 1 3, 2. So the property of the scalar multiplication says when you have any scalar multiplying with the matrix, you have to multiply it with the each element. So therefore it is 2, 2 is a 4, 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 1 is a 2. Similarly here 2, minus 4, 0. And here it is 3, minus 6, 12, 3, 9, 6. Next, when you are subtracting, you should subtract each element with its corresponding elements. So, therefore, first one is 4 minus 3. So, which is nothing but 1. Next, 6 minus of minus 6. Remember, minus of minus 6 we have. So, therefore, I can write it as 6 minus of minus 6 becomes plus 6, which is 12. Next, 2 minus 12. 2 minus 12 is minus 10. Next 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Minus 4 minus 9. So minus 4 minus 9 is minus 13. Next 0 minus 6. So which is minus 6. So this is the new matrix of the order 2 cross 3 which is 2a minus 3b. Next we will take 4a plus b. So second one. 4a plus b. So here multiply matrix A with 4. So that is 2, 3, 1, 1 minus 2, 0. Plus add matrix B. So matrix B is 1 minus 2, 4. And the second row is 1, 3, 2. So again here multiply the scalar. 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12, 4 1s are 4, 4 1s are 4, 4 into minus 2 minus 8, 4 0s are 0. Next plus 1 minus 2 4, 1 3 2. Now here we have plus, so let's add it. 8 plus 1, 9, 12 minus 2. Plus of minus 2, it becomes minus 2. So 12 minus 2 is 10. 4 plus 4 is 8, 4 plus 1 is 5, minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5, 0 plus 2 is 2. So this is the new matrix 4a plus b. Let's take the third one. The third matrix here is a plus 1 by 3b. So a plus 
1 by 3b. Let's write the matrix A. Matrix A is 2, 3, 1. 1 minus 2, 0. Plus 1 by 3 of matrix B. Matrix B is 1 minus 2, 4. And we have here 1, 3, 2. So 2, 3, 1. 1 minus 2, 0. So here we have 1 by 3. So multiply or divide each element by 3. So it becomes 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3, 4 by 3, 1 by 3, 3 by 3 gets 1 here. Next we have 2 by 3. So let's add with each term. So the first one is 2 plus 1 by 3. So when you add 2 plus 1 by 3, it becomes 7 by 3. Next we have 3 minus 2 by 3. 3 minus 2 by 3 is again 7 by 3. Next we have 1 plus 4 by 3. So 1 plus 4 by 3 is also 7 by 3. Next we have 1 plus 1 by 3. So 1 plus 1 by 3 is 4 by 3. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. 0 plus 2 by 3 is 2 by 3. So this is the new matrix A plus 1 by 3B. Next we have if A is equal to 1 minus 1, 2, 0, 0 minus 3 and B is equal to minus 2, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, find 2A plus 3B. First let us find 2A, then we find 3B, then we will add it. So now we can write it as 2 into A, matrix A. So what is our matrix A? 1 minus 1, 2, 0, 0 minus 3. Next plus 3 into B, minus 2, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So let's multiply 2, 1, 0, 2, 2 into minus 2, minus 2, 2, 2, 0, 4, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0 2, 0, 0, 0. 2, 3 is a 6 which is minus 6. Next plus 3 into 2 minus 6. 3, 4 is a 12. 3, 3 is a 9. 3, 2 is a 6. 3, 1 is a 3. 3, 0 is a 0. So now let's add it H. So if we add it. So 2 plus minus 6 becomes 2 minus 6 which is minus 4. Minus 2 plus 12. 10. Next 4 plus 9, 13. Next 0 plus 6, 6. Next 0 plus 3, 3. Next minus 6 plus 0, minus 6. So this is 2a plus 3b. So next question. If 4, 5, 3, 2 plus 2, x minus 3, y minus 4, 1 is equal to 6, 1, 2, 3. Find x and y. So when we say two matrices are equal, here we have an equality between the matrices. So the two matrices are equal when their corresponding elements inside the matrices are equal. But on your right hand side, you have the sum of two matrices that is equal to another matrix. So first let us find the sum of two matrices here. We have 4 plus 2, 6, 5 plus x minus 3 and here you have 3 plus y minus 4. Next we have 2 plus 1 which is 3. So 6, 1, 2, 3. Clearly you can see the first element is equal to first. The last element is equal to the last. Since they have already given they are equal, we can compare the relative elements. So I can write here 5 plus x minus 3 is equal to 1. And another one is 3 plus y minus 4 is equal to 2. So on solving this, I will get x is equal to, so 5 minus 3 is plus 2. So then 1 minus 2 becomes minus 1. So the value of x is equal to minus 1 here. And here we have 3 minus 4 which is minus 1. Minus 1 when it goes to the left hand side it becomes plus 1. So therefore the value of y becomes plus 3. So this is the value of x and y. Next question. If A plus B is equal to 2, 3, 4, 1 and 2A minus B is equal to 1 minus 3, 2, 2, 
find a and b. So here we have a plus b is equal to 2, 3, 4, 1 and 2a minus b is equal to 1 minus 3, 2, 2. So let me take the first equation we have a plus b is equal to 2, 3, 4, 1. So let me write b is equal to 2, 3, 4, 1 minus a. Let me take this as equation 1. Let's take the second equation we have. 2a minus b is equal to 1 minus 3, 2 and 2. So using equation 1, I can write b as 2, 3, 4, 1 minus a inside the bracket. That is equal to 1 minus 3, 2, so let's solve this. We have 2a minus, so here we have 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Here minus of minus a becomes plus a. So plus a is equal to, we have 1 minus 3, 2, 2. So 1 minus 3, 2, 2. So now 2a plus a becomes 3a. I'll shift this matrix towards that side, then it becomes the sum of two matrices. 1 minus 3, 2, 2, plus 2, 3, 4, 1. So 3a is equal to, add it, 1 plus 2 is 3, minus 3 plus 3, 0, 2 plus 4, 6, 2 plus 3 is 3. Now this is a scalar quantity, so therefore a is equal to 1 by 3, 3063. So if you divide this, you will get the matrix as 3 by 3, 1, 0 by 3, 0, 6. Next we have 6 by 3, 2. Next we have 3 by 3, 1. So therefore matrix A is 1021. And we have taken matrix B as 2, 3, 4, 1 minus A. So therefore, matrix B is 2, 3, 4, 1 minus, we got matrix A as 1, 0, 2, 1. So let us subtract. So therefore, B is equal to 2 minus 1, 1, 3 minus 0, 3, 4 minus 2, 2, 1 minus 1, 0. So this is our matrix B, 1, 3, 2, 0. So next one. If A is equal to 2, 4, 3, minus 1, 4, 0, show that A dash O dash is equal to A. So what does dash represent? Dash represents the transpose of a matrix. That is writing the rows into columns or column into rows. First, let us find out A dash. Let's write column into rows. So we have 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4 and 4, minus 1, 0. So again, let's take the transpose of this matrix that becomes A dash O dash. So write columns into rows 2, 4, 3, minus 1, 4, 0. So clearly you can observe this matrix is nothing but A. So it is also a property here. The transpose or double time when you transpose any matrix, you will get back the original matrix. Therefore, a double dash is always is equal to A. Next problem, we have A is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5. Find A plus A dash and A minus A dash. We have A. Let's check A dash. A dash columns into rows. So 2, 4, 3, 5. So first find out A plus A dash. That is 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 2, 4, 3, 5. So how much we will get 2 plus 2, 4, 3 plus 4, 7, 4 plus 3, 7, 5 plus 5, 10. So it's 4, 7, 7, 10. Next let's find out A minus A dash. So that is 2, 3, 4, 5 minus 2, 4, 3, 5. 
So 2 minus 2, 0. 3 minus 4, we have minus 1. 4 minus 3, 1. 5 minus 5, 0. So this is what a minus a dash. You can also check one property here. When you add uh, any matrix with transpose of it, you will get a symmetric matrix. So that is when you interchange, that is when you interchange the resultant matrix here, 4, 7, 7, 10. If you take the transpose, again you will get 4, 7, 7, 10. So when the transpose of a matrix is equal to itself, we call it as a symmetric matrix. So when you take the sum of any matrix with the transpose, it's the resultant matrix will be always symmetric and their difference will be skew symmetric matrix. So clearly you can see here when you interchange this 0, 1, minus 1, 0 the, because here A dash will be equal to minus A. So therefore A plus A dash will be always symmetric, A minus A dash will be always skew symmetric matrix. So the next one is find x such that 3, x, 4, 7 is symmetric. So when we say the matrix is symmetric, if the matrix is symmetric, the transpose of it, that is A dash, must be equal to A. So let us write here 3x47. Let's write the transpose of this. It is 3, 4, x, 7. So we have A dash is equal to A. That means two matrices are equal. When we say two matrices are equal, if their corresponding elements are equal. We have 3 equals 3, 7 equals 7. So x is equal to 4 or 4 is equal to x. So therefore clearly we can write x is equal to 4. Next one. If a is equal to 1 minus 2, 3, 4, find 2a and 3a. So let me write 2a. 2a means multiply 2 to all the elements inside the matrix. 2 ones are 2. 2 into minus 2 minus 4, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8. So this is 2a. Let's write 3a. Multiply 3 to all the elements inside the matrix. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12. So this is 3a. Next question. If a is equal to 1 minus 3 5, 6 2 4, find 5a dash. So before multiplying any scalar quantity, first let us find out a dash. So what is a dash transpose of this matrix? 1, 6, minus 3, 2, 5 and 4. Now let's take 5a dash, multiply 5. 5 1s are 5, 5 6s are 30, 5 3s are 15, 5 2s are 10, 5 5s are 25, 5 4s are 20. So this is our resultant matrix. Next question. If x plus y 3 2 minus y plus x plus 2 3 4 1 is equal to 0 1 1 0 find the values of x and y. So by looking at the equality of matrices we can equate the right hand side that is sum of matrices to the value inside the matrices on your left hand side. So therefore, here what can I write? I can write x plus y plus 2. That is the sum of first element is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. So I can write it as x plus y is equal to minus 2. Let me take this as equation 1. Next I can equate the fourth element to 0 again. So that is minus y plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 or I can write x minus y is equal to minus 1. Let me take it as equation 2. So let's write x plus y is equal to minus 2, x minus y is equal to minus 1. Let me add it x plus x is 2x plus y minus y cancel minus 2 plus minus 1 becomes minus 3. So therefore, x is equal to minus 3 by 2. So from equation 2, I can write y is equal to x plus 1. That is y is equal to the value of x is here minus 3 by 2 plus 1. So which becomes minus 1 by 2. 
Next question. If a is equal to 2 minus 6 x minus 7, find a plus a dash. So we have a that is 2 minus 6 x minus 7 plus a dash is transpose of this matrix. Let me transpose columns into rows. 2x minus 6 minus 7. So I already said the sum of a matrix and this transpose will give rise to a symmetric matrix. Let's check 2 plus 2, 4 and here it is 0, 0, minus 7, minus 7, minus 14. So when you transpose also, it's a symmetric matrix. The matrix will be same. So therefore, it is 4, 0, 0, minus 14. Next question. Find the matrix A if 2A plus B is equal to 2, 0, 1, minus 3, where B is equal to 1, minus 1, 3, 0. So we have 2A plus B is equal to, so 2, 0, 1, minus 3. So let me write 2A as it is. We have matrix B as 1, minus 1, 3, 0. That is equal to 2, 0, 1, minus 3. So let me shift this matrix to the right hand side. Then we have to subtract the element. It becomes 2, 0, 1, minus 3, minus 1, minus 1, 3, 0. So 2a is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus of minus 1 becomes plus 1. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Minus 3 minus 0 is minus 3. So therefore, matrix A becomes divide 2 here. It becomes 1 by 2, 1 by 2, minus 1, minus 3 by 2. So this is the required matrix. Next problem. If A is equal to 1, 3, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 2, and B is equal to 4, minus 1, 2, 1, 3, minus 2. Find 2a plus b, a minus 3b. First, let me write 2a plus b. 2a means multiply 2 to the matrix A. Multiply 2, 2, 1s are 2, 2, 3s are 6, 2 into minus 1, minus 2, 2 into minus 1, minus 2. Again, so 0, 2, 2s are 4. Plus b, that is matrix B. 4, minus 1, 2, 1, 3, minus 2. Let's add it. 2 plus 4, 6. 6 plus minus 1, 5. Minus 2 plus 2, 0. Minus 2 plus 1, minus 1. 0 plus 3, 3. 4 plus minus 2, 2. So this is 2a plus b. Let's take a minus 3b. So I'll write a here only. That is 1, 3, minus 1. Minus 1, 0, 2. Minus 3b. Multiply 3 to b. 3, 4s are 12. 3, 6, 3, 9, minus 6. So let me find the value. 1 minus 12, minus 11. 3 minus of minus 3 becomes plus 3. So it is 6. Minus 1, minus 6, minus 7. Minus 1, minus 3, minus 4. 0, minus 9, minus 9. 2 minus of minus 6 plus 6. So it is 8. So this is the value of A minus 3B. Next question. We have 2A plus B is equal to 3 minus 1 minus 2, 5. And A minus 2B is equal to 4, 2 minus 1, 5. Then find A and B. First, let us write this matrix in the form of a simultaneous linear equation. So that is in the form 2a plus b is equal to 3 minus 1 minus 2, 5. And the second matrix is a minus 2b is equal to 4, 2, minus 1, 5. So let me take this equation 1 and equation 2. So multiply 2 to equation 2, then add the matrices. So when you multiply 2 for the whole equation, it becomes 4a plus 2b is equal to, here it becomes 3 2s are 6, minus 1 into 2 minus 2, 
minus 2 into 2 is minus 4, 5 into 2 is 10. Then add to the second matrix that is a minus 2b is equal to 4, 2, minus 1, 5. Now let's add it. So when you add it, 4a plus a becomes 5a plus 2b minus 2b cancels is equal to 6 plus 4, 10, minus 2 plus 2, 0, minus 4 minus 1, minus 5, 10 plus 5, 15. So therefore, A is equal to the whole matrix divided by 5. So it becomes 2, 0, minus 1, 3. Now here we have matrix A value as 2, 0, minus 1, 3. So let us substitute in any one of the equations given. So let me choose the first equation. We have 2 into A, that is 2 into 2, 0, minus 1, 3. 2, 0, minus 1, 3 plus B is equal to 3, minus 1, minus 2, 5. 3, minus 1, minus 2, 5. So let's solve this 4, 0, minus 2, 6 plus B is equal to 3, minus 1, minus 2, 5. So let me shift here. So B is equal to 3, minus 1, minus 2, 5 minus 4, 0, minus 2, 6. So when you subtract, the value is 3, minus 4 is minus 1. Minus 1 minus 0 is again minus 1. Minus 2 minus of minus 2 becomes plus 2. So minus 2 plus 2, 0. 5 minus 6 is minus 1. So therefore the matrix B is minus 1 minus 1, 0 minus 1. So in today's session, clearly we have learned how to add, subtract or multiply with the scalar quantity of a given matrices and also few problems related to transpose of a matrix. We'll meet you in the next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.